Hi, this is Jacob. I just wanted to follow up on my post about light bulbs by showing uh, some examples of what these, what the different kinds of light bulbs look like through a diffraction grating. So this is the diffraction grating that I mentioned in my post that my wife keeps beside her bed so that she can have a rainbow whenever she wants it. I'm going to hand it to her to put it in front of the camera. So above me we have an incandescent light bulb. This is your typical light bulb with the tungsten filament. Um, and it outputs a full spectrum of color. And so if you put the diffraction grating in front of it, this will show you that you can see um, a full rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Um, it should go in that order because it goes from low, the diffraction grating splits the light up from lowest energy to highest, going from, I assume, top to bottom. Is that right? Well, the blue is at the top. The blue is at the top. Okay, other way around. So, so that's what light from the incandescent light bulb looks like. But up here, it's about the right way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now I want to show you what light from the fluorescent light bulb looks like. It doesn't doesn't look the same. So we have a fluorescent light bulb here in our room. And so, if you could put the grating up in front of the camera you can see that you don't see a full spectrum. What you see is instead you see an image of this light bulb and the whole lamp, but you see three different colors. Um, and that's because the phosphors, like I mentioned in the post, that they coat the inside of the fluorescent lamp with emit specific colors. So they actually have three different phosphors on the lamp. And so that's the red, green, and blue that you see in and that. But those three colors mixed together tricks your eye into thinking that uh, it's seeing white light. 